Hi YouTube, Tim Huggard here. In this video, we're going to install VS Code on a Chromebook in 2024. The first thing we need to do is enable the Linux development environment. And to do that, we'll go over here to the launcher and click on the launcher. And what we want to do is find our settings. So we can either search for the settings here or click on settings if we see them. And on the left hand side of the settings, if you scroll all the way down, you get to About Chrome OS. We'll click on that. And down near the bottom of that, there should be an option for the Linux development environment. Now, if you don't have this, you may have a Chromebook that's older than 2019 that isn't capable of installing Linux this way. Um, I'm using an Intel slash AMD based Chromebook, so we'll work on those. I don't have an ARM based Chromebook. I can't speak to that. If you do have this, you're good to go. Click Setup. And this will allow you to set up the Linux development environment. You'll click Next and then uh, install. Okay, after a few minutes, a terminal will pop up. That means you have Linux installed. We can now uh, close out our settings here. Let me just expand this and maximize it and make my font a little bit larger. And we wanna make sure everything's up to date. And we can do that by typing sudo apt update and then two ampersand sudo apt upgrade and doing a dash y flag and hitting enter. We'll let that run on through and I'll come on back. Okay, once that has run through, we can clear everything out and we do wanna install a dependency that VS Code recommends, which is the GNOME keyring. To do that, we'll type sudo apt install gnome-keyring and we'll hit enter. And it's gonna ask us to take a little additional space. I'll say yes and hit enter and let that run through and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once that's run through, we can close out the terminal here and let's open up a browser and we'll search for VS Code, hit enter, and we'll click on the first site that comes up, which is code.visualstudio.com, and we wanna download the .dev file, so we'll download that. Once that's downloaded, we can click Show in Folder, or go to our Downloads folder, and we can right-click and click Install with Linux. That's gonna reach out and get some app information. I'll click Install, and then Okay. After a minute or two that will install, we can close out our downloads folder and the browser here. And now go over to our launcher and go down to Linux apps. And if we click on the Linux apps, you'll see we have the VS Code icon. Now if this doesn't appear right away, give it a minute or two. Um, I have edited out some time where it does take a minute or two to install. So I'm gonna cl uh, right click and pin to shelf here. And let's open it up. And there we go, we've got VS Code open. We can start customizing it and using it. Just a couple notes. First time you do uh, open it up, it may take a little bit longer to load because it's gonna create those configuration files and so on. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.